Howdy friends, and welcome to The Average J. We are at Fort Wilderness in Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida, mm -hmm. and it is uh, time for Tuesday Tag. Yeah, that's uh, right. No Tag Tuesday. No Tag Tuesday. <laughs> you know, um, today is Tuesday, November 14th, and Michelle and I are on vacation at Fort Wilderness, and we thought uh, for this tag, we would show you some of the sites around Walt Disney World as we answer these 10 questions for November slash Thanksgiving that were presented to us by uh, from Roy at Recipes with Roy. So Roy, thank you very much for putting it together. The links will be for everybody that's doing the tag will be down below. Um, and let's get into it. Okay, question number one. We're at the Grand Floridian um, in front of their gingerbread house. Um, because question number one is appropriate because it says something about holidays. All right, read number one. Okay, so what's your favorite thing about November? The changing weather, the holidays, something else? Okay, so for me, November is usually when we take vacation. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. Um, so that's what I look forward to. Um, we spent Thanksgiving at Disney, so I mean, yeah, the holiday is okay. Um, but I think as we got older, we're a little away from the traditions. So, and, um, so I'm going to say the seasons, I'm not really a big seasonal guy. I just look forward to November because it's usually vacation. Okay, and mine is, it's my birthday. Yes, it's your birthday. It's, it's your birthday. birthday. So in two days, Wednesday is my birthday. Um, so I look forward to that. My, my mom's favorite season was fall. But it's not my particular season, but when I think of fall, I think of her. So, and I like to think about my mom. Yes. <laughs> um, holidays, I do like Thanksgiving, but I think I like Christmas a little bit better. But um, We don't put up much many Thanksgiving no, decorations. We pretty right. much go straight to Christmas. Yes. So, yeah. I think that's it. Question one down. Yes. So. All right, question number two. Do you have any vacation or uh, plans lined up for November? Well, it's November and here we are. We are on the, uh, the water taxi at Walt Disney World. Uh, again, all the questions we're answering from different locations at Disney. So we're on the boat. We are going over to Magic Kingdom to take a different boat to go over to the Polynesia for lunch. But Michelle's birthday is Wednesday, uh, tomorrow. Today's Tuesday. Well. For when this post it will be Tuesday <laughs> exactly. and um, uh, so her birthday will be November 15th and we're down at Disney for the week so that is our uh, November vacation plan so part two of the question was if not what's your dream uh, vacation so we are on vacation but dream vacation Michelle and I were just talking like we're doing tent camping this time right yeah. but we had said a dream vacation is renting a big RV and bringing our dog Artie down. Yeah. So that's kind of like the dream, at least for now, that's what we're looking at. But yeah, our vacation right now is in November. So, sorry, I kind of like monopolized that answer. Oh, fine. Because we had the same answer. Yeah. All right, question two, done. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, question number three. We are at Magic Kingdom. You can see the hundredth, the trains there. It looks good with the, it looks good with the train there. It does. The engine's over there though. Yeah, you can't, can't see, see the it. engine really, but it's pretty. It does look pretty, but there is Magic Kingdom. Alright. Alright, so what's question number three? So how do you usually prepare for the upcoming holiday season? Uh <laughs> a lot of tears, crying. <laughs> right. <laughs> no. I mean, we do a little decorating of the house. We've yeah. always waited till last minute for Christmas shopping. Yes, we do. Um, for Thanksgiving, I prepared this year by raising four turkeys. Yeah. You know, raised uh, mine, Jones, Tabitha's, and a spare in case somebody's didn't make it. Yeah. They're doing good, and yeah. Doug is taking care of them while we're on vacation. Yeah. So, but prepping for this year is uh, 
raising our turkeys. Yeah. Now, how about you prepping for the holidays? For, for, for Thanksgiving, there's not much prep for me because he does a lot of the cooking. Either he cooks or a we... A lot? How about all? Well, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> I cook a little bit every now and again, but... Um, so yeah, but we are having all our family over our house, uh, his side and our kids, over at our house this year. So there's going to be a lot of cleaning to do and prep in different rooms for the kids to stay in. Um, but Christmas, it's just that as soon as Thanksgiving's over, I do get the Christmas stuff up. That's it. So. And then other than that, we, we don't have our normal traditions. Like we don't do Christmas Eve dinner anymore. No, we used to. So there's to. no prepping for that. No. So. Mm -hmm. but. And with the kids grown. You know. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> so anyway, question four. What's a fall memory that always makes you smile or brings you joy? Okay, so... Um, Gotta talk loud because there's a lot of people. Oh, I know. So, um, you know, my childhood, you know, it, it, that's, you know, there was nothing outstanding in my mind but it's, it's when you have your own children that stands out in your mind so moods farm taking the kids to pick pumpkins and the hay ride is such a good time that's a great fall memory very very good fall memory oh, that's for sure um for me fall memory i mean i'm just saying we always go on vacation in november october so for me i don't have a specific memory it's just all of our vacations or drop your stick in that are pretty much here at Disney, <laughs> you know, so, um, but I don't have anything specific that stands out in the fall. the answer to that question. Okay. okay, question number five. All right, so, how do you stay active and engaged with outdoor activities as the days get shorter and colder? Well, our days aren't colder. We're in the <laughs> tropics, look. Oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's. Wow. We're in Florida and this is a Polynesian so resort. It's so tropical. Yeah. <laughs> but I would say, you know, I stay indoors whether it's hot or it's cold. So for me, I mean, I'm inside anyway. So, you know, it doesn't matter. I guess as the days get colder, instead of putting on a fan in my office, I put on a kerosene heater. That's about <laughs> yeah. the only thing different. Yeah. Now, what about you? So, I love to be outside. Yes, so, you do. during the fall, because our oak trees kind of uh, lose their leaves really late. So, I am out there raking leaves. First, yes. it's the acorns. All the acorns fall, and then the leaves come in. So, I am still raking leaves probably when it's going to be frost or snow. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, and, and I told myself years ago that I'm not going to use the weather as my excuse to do stuff outside. Right. So I've gotten away from it this year, but I would go for walks yeah. every morning, no matter what the weather, how cold or how warm. Now, so. the, the only other thing I, I will say is during the fall, usually November, we have our annual tradition of will the heater work or not? <laughs> Exactly. I cross my fingers. I pray every year. Just give me one more winter. That heater was put yeah. in originally when the house was built in 1969. Yeah. So, you it's know, me. it's it's <laughs> a 54-year-old heater. And every year, November, yep. we don't usually turn it on in October. It's always November. Right, right. And it's always, fingers crossed, will it start? <laughs> and, and we did this year, yeah. and it started. It did. Make it a little yeah. weird noise. The in. compressor may need some more. Yeah, it was but... making a little noise, but... <laughs> It's heat in the house. Yep. <laughs> we are at Pioneer Hall. Yeah, you got to do your point. <laughs> Pioneer Hall. See. This is where they do the Hoop De Doo <clears throat> Review, which is an amazing show. So, um, we're going to do question number seven. Question seven Do you celebrate Thanksgiving? And if so, how do you typically spend the holiday? Any favorite dishes or family traditions? You want to go first? No, you want you me go to go first. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, I have my Thanksgiving shirt on. <laughs> 
you know so hopefully you can see that my father gave that to me um, I thought I, I felt like a Thanksgiving mood and um, well we changed because we were soaked soaked head to toe so <laughs> to toe. we went ahead and got changed <laughs> um, Thanksgiving traditions I mean we used to have Thanksgiving uh, at my grandmother's house then you know my mom was doing it and uh, have I hosted before no I don't think I've ever hosted Thanksgiving but um, last year we were down here in Disney yep. and uh, we had Alex with us but favorite dishes I mean my mom's sweet potatoes are a big hit and I like fried or sauteed mushrooms yes yeah, they're good yeah. and um, I like um, sauteed mushrooms but I like them all year long but I like having them on the Thanksgiving table you know it's kind of like my favorite all the other stuff, I mean, you know, stuffing, stuffing, mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes. So mm -hmm. I'll say that, you know, the mushrooms are one of my favorites and um, my mom's uh, sweet potatoes, which I know my sister would say is her favorite. Too. Yes, you know, she does love that. She loves those things. So, so what about you? Traditions? So, uh, not a lot of traditions, but yes, we do celebrate Thanksgiving. Love it. Um, my mom always hosted. Even when my grandma was capable, she still hosted it. Um, and I was always her helper, so not so much the, the brains behind the, the operation, but I was a helper. But um, as an Ital Italian heritage, we used to have turkey and there'd be some kind of like lasagna yeah. there'd be, or spaghetti and meatballs. There would be an Italian dish added to it. Right. Once again, so. I refer back to the Christopher Columbus thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So. so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, family. And my mom always hosted. Like I said, um, we have a lot of pets, so a lot of my family members are allergic to a lot of the <laughs> pets that we have. Makes so it tough, you know, when you have host. a dog and three cats, yeah. you know, it makes it very difficult. So. But I will say, um, back when I was uh, in high school, they always used to have a big football game. My local oh, school, Paulsboro yeah. versus West Effort, was always on Thanksgiving Day, and for some reason they stopped that tradition. Boo. Yeah. All right, now we are on question number eight, and we are at Disney's Tri-Circle D Ranch, mm -hmm. and we are standing in front of Red. Red. Red is a Belgian. And he is playing with his, his food bucket. His food bucket, you know? <laughs> But he is a super big horse. Yeah. You know? um, <laughs> I think Belgians are like, isn't that what like the Amish use as workhorses? That's what it seems like to me, yes. Yeah, so, and I think, <laughs> You had said something. I think that's what um, Bell's, Bell's horse, horse from, yeah, uh, from Beauty, Beauty and the Beast. Beast. I think it was I a think. Belgian. So. Okay. All right. I could. Question eight. In many places, November marks the transition from autumn to winter. How does this seasonal shift influence your mood and activities? <laughs> um, well, I don't get winter depression or fall depression. I don't. Well, you get your turn in a minute. <laughs> um, to me the 12 months of the year all have their own beauty so I don't really have any seasonal issues emotional whatever so for me I mean I love it I like the cool weather but hey red, red. right keep it down keep it down you're really playing back there so. um I think I do get a touch of the winter blues I I truly do I I like my sunlight I like being outside and you know the days are so short in the winter time and they are I, I do tend to be a little more on the downside right for fall and winter but you know as soon as spring gets spring hits i'm good <laughs> yeah so let me just make sure we got the mood and activities oh activities well uh, well i will say activities change once because we lose daylight you know so cute no, it's all good. Um, <laughs> we like we have a question. tendency we have a tendency to not do as much during the fall because um, it gets dark early. For sure. You know, so my activities change just mainly because there's not as much sunlight. Yeah, so. and and we stay in, so like we'll do puzzles or something yeah. in, inside. You know, projects that are inside. Yeah. So all he right. agrees. He agrees. <laughs> all right. So that does it for this question. Bye, Red. <laughs>
Ready for your close up, buddy. <laughs> you tell me what to do. You can have it. I'm just going to go to Yeah, I was talking to you. Mm. Yeah. Very sweet boy. He is. I think he's a dog. Oh he's very goodness. much a lap dog. <laughs> wow. He's so beautiful and so big. <laughs> Is as much as my car. <laughs> Would you mind? All right. So for question number nine, we are at Shades of Green, and uh, Michelle and I and all of our family stayed here in September. Mm -hmm. So you can see. I'll show you a quick view. It looks beautiful. It's just the quick, the quick skinny. <laughs> of, the, of the lobby. Of the lobby, so. Um, <laughs> I love the lobby. It used to smell like a, a fireplace, fireplace, but, but they I got think rid they, of that. Yeah, I think they went to gas. Yeah, <laughs> so on that beautiful fireplace. Yeah. So. All right, read off question number nine, honey. All right, so are there any local or cultural celebrations in your region specific to autumn that, particularly look, that you particularly look forward to each year? Okay, well, November, I'll say, when it says local, I'll say local is in the United States from a world perspective, being where it's shades of green, right? the military, November is Veterans Day, okay. you know? Um, hey, they give uh, veterans free meals at a lot of places. They do. Can't be free, but... I don't think we got anything free yesterday, though. No, yesterday was Veterans Day, and we yeah. were so busy, we just Traveling. didn't even go anywhere, yeah. so I'll say that. How about you? Um, so, the only thing... Culturally, Italians don't really do anything in the fall, but, um... I'll Columbus say, Day! Is that... Uh, is that September? It's October, but October. it's the fall. Okay, well, there you go. But, also, <laughs> there's a lot of, um, craft fairs. Like, yeah. like, your your town's day. Like, ours is Gibbstown Day or Swedesbury Day, where yeah, I grew so. up, so... But a lot of those are yeah. in the fall, you yeah. know, when all the craft fairs. So, I would yeah. say, local to us, there's a lot of craft fairs in the fall. Yeah. Alright. And finally, question number 10. NaNoWriMo is the National Novel Writing Month Challenge, where people challenge themselves to write a novel in the month of November. Have you ever heard of it? Would you ever consider doing any type of creative challenge like this? And what skill would the challenge test? Alright, so, uh, I've never heard of it. No. Me, no. me either. <laughs> so, um... Would I ever consider doing any type of challenge like this? I would because I've said before that I mm -hmm. thought I would want to write a book. I don't know about a novel. I mean, it would probably just be something simple-minded like me, you know? Oh, well, well, a short story. A short story, but, <laughs> you know, mine would probably be more like um, if I had the ability to do it, something that is um, along the lines of like a, a murder mystery or something that makes you think, something with a twist, kind of like uh, the movie Knives Out. Okay. Or The Glass Onion. Love those movies. Uh, those movies are great. I'd love to do something like that. Um, and what skill would the challenge test? My ability to follow through on something, you know, because <laughs> right? as much as I want to do it, it's saying it and doing it are two different things. For sure. So what about you? Um, same. Never heard of the particular event event um <laughs> but i do like to read so whatever, shows the reader whatever y'all create <laughs> who've heard of it and want to challenge this event i will read it there but um yeah i'm not very creative as far as writing so yeah all right definitely more of a reader 
So that's going to do it. That is all 10 questions. Um, I hope you liked our little tour right. of Walt Disney World. You know, normally Michelle and I, we sit at the table and we read. We wanted to do uh, something a little different because we had the opportunity to. Right. So, although it's it's rained every day that we've been um, down here. so We our, have one stretch yeah, this, of non-rain right now. And actually the next two days, it's yeah. like up there. 60% yeah. rain. 60% chance of rain. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's why it's like a little dark out while we're doing this. Yep. is because it's the first, ch first chance of rain stopped enough, you know. For sure. But we're in our... We are in our yeah. campsite. Um, we are staying in a tent at Fort Wilderness. So nothing like tent camping in the rain. Yikes. It's, it's hard, but fun. It is fun. We've had some great experiences. So, but thank you very much for watching. We really appreciate you taking the time to spend a little bit of uh, your day with us, right? Okay. Yeah. So um, if you can, hit the like button. Um, subscribe if you can. That always is nice. And uh, from Orlando, the average J, out. Bye. <laughs>